incomplete. Deep throw in the first quarter. Over to Wallace, who has his first catch with this one. And Webster shoves him out after just a short game. Home flooded this week. Hurricane Sandy. Iwanuka, and here's Marcus Berger intercepted. It's Webster. I can just tell by the whole body language. He steps up. He knows where they're going to hit the good. And he makes the decision too fast and throws it right to Corey Webster. And, you know, why does he feel that? Well, because he's been hit a few times uh, in this game from behind. They've been close. He knows. He wants to get rid of the football, and the Giants are all over the route run by the Steelers. And that's one thing you had talked a lot about this week. On second and seven. There's Wallace. Wallace takes a blow as he, and that flag's coming out for that. Discussed it. Boy, beautiful throw by Ben Roethlisberger. Here's what he, you're talking about. He's he trying to climb to his feet. Yep. And he's bounced back after a gain of 15. Stay patient with the run game for the Steelers. And the move by Wallace is going to pick up the first down and a whole lot more. Trying to go to the afterburners, to the end zone, and a touchdown. That was unbelievable. That was a gear seldom do you see someone kick it into that kind of speed zone. Not in this league. He's just going to go up, come across. You watch it and watch the speed of Mike Wallace. NFL defensive backs have the angle and he can still outrun them. 51 yards. Third drive for Pittsburgh from the 13. Here's Ben. Up by Mike Wallace in the middle. He gets tagged right near the 20-yard line. Gain of seven. Todd got here in addition to the offensive staff as well. Well, she's Mike Wallace, incomplete. It was a bit deflected by Tom Bahali. Last point I'll make on Todd Haley. It's hard. He shows up here. How far they're throwing the ball downfield. So what's he going to do now? He's going to take his shot downfield. Mike Wallace almost had a touchdown as Kendrick Lewis was a step behind. You want to try to get... Mike Wallace down the field against the safety. That time it's a double move against Keenan Lewis. And if you let Mike Wallace get off clean, Javier Arenas, it's going to be trouble. Take a look at Mike Wallace. He's who they go to when they need a long distance phone call. Great route. His touchdowns this year inside the nine. Ben going to go the other way from Mike Wallace. Unbelievable grab for a touchdown! What a play! Nobody thought he held on. One hand on it. And Wallace for the moment has a score. I can't wait to see this. Watch this one-handed effort. You gotta be kidding me. What a grab by Mike Wallace. It's between his legs, it never touches the ground. Now the question will be, once he gets control, is he inbounds? It's between his legs, all good, hasn't touched the ground. Rolls over. Now when he gets it, where is he? And it looks to be inbounds. Let's see here for a second. He'll certainly, I would imagine, take time and look at this. When does he gain control of it? He have control there when his left shoulder is on the ground before he rolls into the paint. Roethlisberger starts it from the 22. Ben, Javier Arenas almost had the interception. He is shorter. Mike Wallace is taller. Arenas got up and knocked it down. That's a bad decision by Ben Roethlisberger. Uncharacteristic that he would force the ball over. He's going to look to his right, and nobody's open. He's going to reset and throw the ball late to his backside, and Javier Arenas needs to make this play. Bo drops a pass at the end of the first half. Arenas drops a pass to start the third quarter. Kansas City's got him. Deep drop left which Launching downfield for Mike Wallace. Incomplete. And Brandon Flowers with the coverage all the way downfield. Good corner. Brandon Kansas City Chief football team. And when you got to run with a racehorse all by yourself, that's where you earn your money. Ball's overthrown anyway, but Brandon Flowers 
usually leaves his best football on the field. Night football. And that is caught. Ray Rice, no contest. Pass is intercepted by Paul Kruger. Oh my gosh, look at his nose. The ball is loose and the Colomato huge play. Redmond breaking Holy tackles, God. gets into the end zone. He is looking like Superman. To the end zone, he goes and it's caught for the touchdown. What a football game. Since 2009 tonight, and he'll go right to the air. He gets great protection. He goes deep downfield, and it's broken up. And a flag is thrown. Terry Williams broke it up, intended for Mike Wallace. As on the very first play of the game, they go deep, and they're going to get a pass interference call. I don't think Terry Williams had any choice. Mike Wallace ran by him like a blur, and he grabbed his arm as he was going by to <laughs> slow that bullet down a little bit. I guess uh, we found out about Byron Leftwich's arm. He uncorked that thing. The 14. Blitz on. It's picked up. Pass is caught. And then the, the ball is lost by Wallace. And it is picked up by Reed. And Ed Reed is inside the 20. And Reed will set him up at the 12-yard line. So Wallace had the first down over the middle. Got hit by Chris Johnson. And Ed Reed picks up the fumble. Well, Chris Johnson just arrived with the Ravens. He's their new cornerback they signed this week, but he comes up huge already, knocks that football out, and then Ed Reed, Mr. Return Yardage for a defensive player, takes over from there. So the newcomer, Chris Johnson, makes a huge play. And, of course, all turn and now back to Pittsburgh. And he throws, and that one is incomplete, and that was... Williams covering on the play. He didn't even turn around. He was just looking at Mike Wallace, the intended receiver, third down. He's getting right in the face of Mike Wallace on the outside. He's going to give him a little Deion Sanders treatment, and he's perfect position. The ball hit him square in the back. Left foot. Hanging in, throws underneath, and that's caught by Wallace up at the 44. Good protection. Passes one hop. Incomplete by Wallace, third and 11. Hey, this is great protection. Plenty of time to wind up, step into the throw, and one-hop it. You know, it looked like Wallace actually could have made a little bigger effort to come scoop that thing up. Fourth down, hangs in there, throws it underneath at the 31. That's Wallace, and now they'll run the old, how many laterals can we get into it play? And it winds up in the hands of the... Oh, and he's looking for Wallace. He got caught up with Buster Screen. It's an incomplete pass. They got a punt again. Injured earlier. Smelled up this morning. First reception made by Wallace on first and ten. Run out of bounds by T.J. Moore. And the catch and run take him to the 30-yard line. Second and 12. Quick hitter. And bobbled. And it's intercepted by Wynn. Wallace could not find the handle. Wynn has come up with his first career interception. The rookie out of Boise State. The fifth turnover by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, just another bad throw on the backside of the receivers. Tipped, intercepted, fifth of the game in terms of turnover for the Browns. Backfield third and four for Batch. Blocked by Starks. A short pass on principle for Wallace. Shoving after the play. Going deep, he's looking for Wallace, he's covered by Hayden, and the ball is intercepted! Joe Hayden is his pickoff batch! The third interception of Batch today, the sixth Pittsburgh turnover, and Cleveland trying to close the door! How about Joe Hayden? We talk about ball skills for defensive backs in the NFL. We've seen the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary drop three potential interceptions today, and here it is, it's just a nine route, take it deep. And then Hayden, watch 23. He's not afraid to allow Wallace to get beyond him because, look, he's watching the ball the entire way, Kevin. Tracks it, high points it, makes the catch on the ball. I can't tell you enough how critical ball skills are for defenders in the National Football League. It's the ability to take the ball away from the opposing offense, get the ball back to your football team, and close out ball games when they're on the line. Second down and 10. Wallace. Well straight lateral and throwing, and that is caught on the play by Sanders. 
Rolls in time. He's hit by Ward. There's a fumble. What a comeback by Andrew Luck and the Colts. Jim and Phil. Incredible. They were down big in that one. Second and five. And that pass a little low and incomplete for Mike Law. In Detroit. Played great that day on Thanksgiving. Second down and nine. And there's Wallace. Hank Wallace. It's to the 20. It'll be third and three coming up. What about Mike Wallace named a co-starter this week by Mike Tomlin along with Emmanuel Sanders? Well, I think after last week, Mike Tomlin's not going to stand pat. And he, he did a couple things. Rashard Mendenhall usually having that torn tricep about 12 hours a day. So, doing whatever it takes to get back out on that field. On first down. Blitz is picked up and back. So his arm strength here. He lost it 50 yards down the field looking for Wallace and no flag. A lot of people talking about this week. Well, Batch can't throw it down the field. This is the second time he's tried to go long in this yeah. game. Yeah, and I just thought they needed to. And I'll tell you, it just shows you how good these corners are. Graham, that's good positioning. That's no, no pat, no interference. Yeah, he touched him. You're allowed to touch him. So... Good job by him. But Mike Wallace. And it's it. Down to Wallace. He's set up Maddox. And the frustrations mount for Mike Wallace. Great throw. Charlie Batch knew they were offside. He goes. This is how you win these games. Top of your screen. A oh, little hesitation that time by Brown. And that throw was perfect. Got to make that catch. Roethlisberger was posting uh, great numbers. Well, had he even caught it, he would not have had both feet down. And they've yeah. been upset with the way he's his foot. All right, we're back here with a third down and three. And as Lewis digging in from the sideline, shotgun, Batch talking about this, the loudest outdoor stadium in the league. And he's got all kinds of time to go to the end zone. And wide open was Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace is wide open, and Antonio Brown is sitting there still with his arms up. He was right over the middle of the football. A little, they make a, a defensive error in the backfield. Nobody covers Mike Wallace once he goes down the field. Look at Antonio Brown right in the middle of the screen. Nobody covered him. Oh, boy. From the 49 of Baltimore. Back. Connects to Wallace. Steelers have all three timeouts. Out of the gun, back. And waiting for it. It's Wallace. Wallace had position there. Off of Shockey Brown. Picks up 14 and a first. Oh, and he gets hit. That, that time, Charlie Batch hung in there. McPhee, I think it's McPhee, just hits him square. Ooh. It was oh, not no, top. Not top. top. And I think Batch is a little wobbly. Well, he just barely gets to the sideline. Nice job by Mike Wallace, but what a job by Charlie Batch standing in there. His backup is Brian Hoyer today as left, which is also inactive. Over to Wallace. Wallace picks up seven. He looks to be shaken up. He got uh, doubled up there by Williams and Graham. Two minutes to go. First down from the Ravens, 44. There could be some win by the Steelers. They can pull it off. Bats, throws, completes. Get Wallace. It is a flag down. It is indeed over to Wallace. And Wallace sidesteps the hit, and he picks up a quick 10. And you had talked about how Roethlisberger loves to get Wallace active in a game. And you hit him. First year San Diego, 30 10, and then on the run, incomplete. Under through Wallace. And they go end the round with Wallace. San Diego and Weddle are there to meet him and set him back a couple. Terrific call. You got the blitz. They're over pursuing. Not number 32. Left of your screen. Gets outside. That was the first good move he made. He ran outside and he made Mike Wallace. Five out of eight. Of the gun. 
Second and five, looking for Wallace, and that's denied. Batted away by Kaysen at the last moment. Antoine Kaysen singled up here, bottom of your screen against Mike Wallace. Some say the fastest receiver in the NFL, and he is all over Mike Wallace. Not a great snap here again by Pouncey. That's uh, one was really low. And, uh, of course, last week, Pouncey had to fill in. On the blitz. Stepping up. Launching it long to an open. Wallace in the suit his hands. Oh, and Wallace. They let him know about it here. Boy, do they ever. It is a good job by Ben. Look at the blitz. Look at the pickup. Redmond gives Roethlisberger time. He moves in the pocket, and he throws it up the field. If he throws it across, Mike Wallace is going to run it down and score the touchdown. But that little late adjustment by Wallace, I think that was just enough where he couldn't make the catch. And in case you were wondering, the arm strength coming off the injury for Roethlisberger, that one was on a line. Well, we saw it so many times on... Down the field was the contact they ruled really incomplete. Looking for Wallace. And Jammer was the defender. Well, the Steelers are taking advantage of the fact that this Chargers defense now is sitting back a little. So there's Mike Wallace going down the field, and there is nothing there. That is a good no call. Yep, still good job. You know, you got to be able to... Looking for options. Down the middle. They'll have to hurry to the line now with Wallace with the catch. Say, we got to stay in the rush lanes. You can't let him move around so much. And he is moving great so far today, Ben Robinson. Second and a foot. Robinsburg goes to Wallace. And Wallace has Perfect strike from Ben. And he beats Quentin Jammer and Wallace. And Roethlisberger have another long connection. Yeah, what a throw. Ben Roethlisberger under pressure. I thought somebody was going to grab his arm. I'm not sure they didn't. That was oh, his hip. They did. they did get a hold of him. He pulls right out of it. And Mike Wallace inside widens Quentin Jammer out just enough to get that space. Well, what a good job by Mike Wallace. Good coverage, too. But well, header day on CBS with Denver and Baltimore for most of the nation in the early window. Third and one. Wallace. And ridden out of bounds. Gain of five. Presented by Southwest Airlines. By the way, Brock Bird, who was uh, appeared injured on the interception grab, is back out there at linebacker as Roethlisberger again escapes, fires it incomplete. Lynch on the coverage, and can't, oh. can't have this can't be an exhale opportunity, is what he said. Yeah, because the quarterback is back. Over to Wallace, he got the feet down, and he's found a yard shy of the first. I think one thing we were right about, though, Jim, was we watched practice in the first half. First down from the 11. All kinds of time to the end zone. Ball is caught. It's Wallace. And he has a two touchdown game. What a catch. From 11 yards out. Three pump fakes for the completion later for the touchdown. Wallace top of your screen. One fake. Two. Three. Let me throw it. And Mike Wallace, good job of attacking the football and catching it with your hands. It's raining in the backfield now. And Roethlisberger steps in and it's knocked down by Carr. Looked like for a moment that Wallace might be able to make the catch, but Carr comes in at the last moment. Well, Brandon Carr plays the technique, bottom of your screen. He stays outside. Ben Roethlisberger throws it just a little bit behind Mike Wallace. You want to throw inside breaking routes against the Dallas Cowboys. Roethlisberger has deflected again. Dangerous moment there. It was tipped by Victor Butler. And the Steelers will punt. Cowboys defense 
really coming out fast, recognizing the plays. Butler that time, and also Mike Jenkins. Everybody seeing the lined up behind Ben. Straight back. Went to the long ball for Wallace. Got a little tripped up, no flag. Carr on the coverage. Well, it looks like they're trying to attack Brandon Carr. And it's a double move. He's been aggressive on the first couple short routes. Well, that was a triple move. How about that move? And how about Brandon Carr? All over it, in perfect position. And Ben Roethlisberger really just has to throw it away. Brandon Carr, the big free agent pickup for the Dallas Cowboys. Played with the Kansas City Chiefs. So Todd Haley, offensive coordinator, knows him well. Haley is former head coach at Kansas City. Third and six. And Wallace brings it down. They give him the catch at the 32. Working on Carr again. And a pickup of 12. Don't see this a whole lot from this Pittsburgh offense. Well, what a move at the line of scrimmage. They always say, receivers, you get the reception, you win the battle at the line of scrimmage. The quickness of Mike Wallace gets him over. The pass and incomplete. Even, Mike Wallace. Even if he got it out there, it was not going to work. The Cowboy defense had it overloaded to this side. They're expecting a pass this way. And the quick upfield by Anthony Spencer, Roethlisberger can't make the throw. And 12. And just a pump fake and airs it out deep. Wide open is Wallace. And Wallace has the catch at the one. He got behind the Dallas defense. Sends the ball. And McCray. And it's a 60-yard play for Pittsburgh. It's a three-man rush again, and Ben Roethlisberger knows it. How about that pump fake? And it's everything he's got to throw this football down to Mike Wallace. I thought since the ball was going to get back there in time to knock it, but he can't find the ball quick enough. And Rob Ryan knows it. Mike. To the bench, first and ten. The throw, Wallace. Picks to the sideline, and again it's Jenkins. He shoves him toward the bench. One yard gain is going to run out the quarter. Lock it, come underneath. Good call, good execution. A two yard run by Redmond. One yard pass play to Wallace. The Steelers are moving. The game is tied. Second and six. Across the middle to Wallace. Sends the ball, sends him back. Picks up four. Good job by Ben Roethlisberger. Step up in the pocket. Finds Mike Wallace, and what goes through my head right now, Jim, you watch the game, I think even the fans are sitting here going, we can't believe it's 17 to 17, and we might fall. Third and four, and the pressure by the feet. Roethlisberger launches it deep for Wallace, overthrown by a yard. This today, it creates confusion. They come out that time, they double the inside receiver, so nowhere to throw the football, and that's what he does well. Roethlisberger, when he gets free, he looks deep down the field. Nice job by Mike Wallace against Terrence Newman. Second and five. Good for another option. Incomplete, and Wallace begging for a flag. He's not going to get it. Adam Jones on the coverage. Good no call that time. Adam Jones was all over Mike Wallace. How about the protection for Roethlisberger? It was outstanding. Little slant go and a comeback. And there's a little touching there. That is not nothing. Well, he wasn't for slow. Field ball. Second and seven. Roethlisberger was setting it up for the long ball. Instead goes sideline and has the connection with Wallace for the first time today. Well, he's doing it. How about that? When you're looking to the right, nice play action fake. They want to go down the middle or a double move that time, but the outlet receiver, Mike Wallace, deep down the left sideline. And why that works is because you have to respect the speed of Mike Wallace. That's why he's open like that. Later. Third time in the last five games that Wallace was shut out in the first half. Now he's going to handle it again. He's going to lose a couple. Pushed out by Manny Lawson. Almost 
it's intercepted. Reggie Nelson with another flag now. Roethlisberger on the run, throws, and it's intercepted! Intercepted by Nelson. Reggie Nelson has it with four o'clock. The Bengals are, look how deep Reggie Nelson and the safeties are. They're not going to let something get behind them. Roethlisberger moves, and he sees Mike Wallace. Here he comes. He sees it. Reggie Nelson reacts, and it had to be a perfect throw, and it was not. Good job by the Bengals on the offense, on the defense.